Welcome to March. This is the tasting of the mixed pack from the Wine Club March edition. I'm DJ Kearney, the director of wine at newdistrict.ca. And this month, we visit five countries, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, and Australia. Remember, the three pillars of our wine club are value, discovery, and diversity. And this collection sums that up really nicely. Let's start with the first white, and it's a sparkling wine. Spring is coming, we've got reason to celebrate. This is Henry of Pelham Cuvée Catherine Brut. It's from Ontario, from the Niagara Peninsula. If you leave Toronto and you drive towards Oakville and Hamilton and then round the head of Lake Ontario, you'll come to a very, very important and famous wine region in Canada, the Niagara Peninsula. Henry of Pelham is one of the oldest wineries in Ontario. Henry Smith came up from the US right after the American Revolution and planted some of the earliest vines in Ontario. This is an amazing blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. I'm going to pour myself a glass so I can smell along with you. This wine is made just like champagne. That means it is fermented in the bottle and then aged for several years. And that's what gives the complexity to the nose of this wine. If you give it a deep smell, you're going to find bread and toast and nuts. There's a beautiful citrusy character, and when you taste it, you'll get a little bit of the Pinot Noir coming through, that wonderful red berried fruit. It's one of the stunning sparkling wines from Canada. I've been judging the Canadian Wine Awards for almost two decades, and this wine, the Cuvée Catherine, named for Henry's mother, is always in the top echelon of our finalists. It's got serious structure and great intensity. It's a fantastic sparkler for oysters, or for some roast chicken, or maybe just a toast to the weekend. Wine two, is called Laurent Miquel Albarino. Now, Albarino is a really interesting grape. We're not quite sure exactly where it comes from. Alba refers to white, and the Rhine refers to Rhine, or the Rhine Basin. And it's likely that this grape came from the Alsatian part of France and made its way over to Spain. What's fantastic about Albarino is that it is about peaches and citrus. It has amazing acidity. It has almost a little salty tang to it. It's one of the best wines that you can have with shellfish or, or fish, anything seafood. Uh, this is your wine. If you love Pinot Gris, if you love Chablis, if you love Chardonnay, this is a perfect wine for you. And it's so surprising that it comes from France, not from Spain. Laurent Miquel has an Albarino vineyard at very, very high altitude on limestone, right down in the Languedoc, not far from the Mediterranean. That is a long way from Spain. A couple of vintages ago though, this wine won Best Albarino of the World. Give it a try with a seafood risotto, with some sautéed prawns, or some calamari. It is a really dazzling example of Albarino. Okay, the first of four reds in the March mixed pack comes from Italy. It's up in the north, uh, in the area called Piemonte. This is the region that is so famous for the Nebbiolo grape and for Barolo and Barbaresco. But this grape is a complete outlier. So the wine is called Pella Verga Verduno from Terre del Barolo. It is a rare grape. It was almost eradicated from Italy although its history goes right back to the 14 or 1500s. There was a time when there were fewer than 18 hectares of this grape, but it's been resurrected. Sommeliers love it, the trade loves it, and it's really had a resurgence. I'm gonna pour myself a little glass of this strawberry scented, pale hued red. Look at the color, it's really light and translucent. That signals a thin skinned grape and that's what Pe Pella Verga is. Pella Verga from Verduno. Wow, if you love strawberries, this is the wine for you. It has an amazing, delicate, early spring, woodsy and wild strawberry smell. When you taste it though, you're going to just 
Mm. Be awakened by acidity. It's very vibrant, it's very alive, and it's also got lush, lush fruit. It's light bodied, it's not a big tannic monster like Nebbiolo can be. And that allows you just to have a, a glass of it after a long day of work or pair it with some antipasti. It's a great wine for prosciutto and it's also a, a chance to discover something new and find a new favorite grape, Pella Verga. Our next red is called Beau Bonhomme, and this wine has some fantastic Canadian content. We go to Spain, to a region called Umilla. The Canadian star behind this wine is named Natalie Bonhomme. She's from Quebec, and she spent years and years in the wine business before she decided to pack up, go to Spain, and make some wine there. And she's made wine that's become very, very famous. This is one of her cheeky and most lovable bottles of wine. The grape in it is Monastrell, and she made this wine in partnership with a great, great winery in Yumiya called Juan Gil. They have beautiful old vineyards of Monastrell. Now, you may know Monastrell as a, as a grape called Morvedra in France. It's a big, tannic, bold grape, and it makes full-bodied, lush, fruit-forward wines. It loves Spain. It's a little warmer than where it grows in France. It has a really intense magenta and crimson color. Oh, and Monastrell is all about plums and red fruit with a little beautiful floral scent, something about violets. In the mouth, there's tons and tons of fruit. There's a little bit of a nice tannic structure that props this wine up, but it's casual, it's friendly. Natalie would want you to have this at a casual party with some burgers and pizza or even hot dogs. Uh, it's a stunner from Spain. It's a great deal and it's a great value. I really admire Natalie and I really admire this wine. I hope you do too. We go back to Italy for our next red. This is Cananao di Sardegna from Sella and Mosca, the 2014 vintage. This is a wine I have been buying since my university days. It's an, uh, an old venerable winery. It was established in the 1800s on the island of Sardinia, or Sardegna, as the Italians would say. If you travel due west, from Naples and due north from uh, Tangiers, you are going to find the island of Sardinia. It's one of the biggest in the Mediterranean and it's a great place for wine discovery. The grape is Cananao and it's also known as Grenache in France and Garnacha in Spain. It's very likely to be a Spanish grape, but there's also a theory that it might have developed on the island of Sardinia. Grenache is a thin-skinned grape, and you'll notice that this wine is quite lightly hued, a little bit like our Pella Verga. And when you smell this wine, oh, it's got Grenache's flowers and cherries and strawberries and a beautiful, earthy, spicy character. It's one of the most important wine grapes on the planet. This wine has lots of silky soft fruit. It's hot on Sardinia, so you've got amazing ripeness and density of fruit, but there's great acidity and the finish is stony and dry and dusty. That's the stamp of terroir. You want to have this wine with some robust food, something that's good for early spring, maybe a lamb braise, maybe a little meatloaf, maybe something involving a really good grilled sausage. It's earthy, it's old school, and it's really, really old world. I know you're going to be really inspired by this wine when you taste it. It's one of the best value wines anywhere in the world. The last wine in March's mix collection is also the richest. This is made by Powell and & Son, and it's from the Barossa region of Australia, right down in the south of the country. It is a GMS blend. G for Grenache, M for Mataro, which is also known as Monastrell. We had that in the Bobonum, and we had Grenache in the Cananao, and then there is some Syrah in this wine. It has a beautiful deep color, an amazing rich sense of 
black fruit and red fruit and spice and a little bit of oak. Dave Powell started a very famous winery called Torbreck and it didn't take long before Torbreck was just raking in the 100 point scores and the collectors. When he sold Torbreck, he started this little company with his son Callum and they decided to make a very small amount of wonderfully articulate wine. Dave sent Callum to train with one of the best winemakers anywhere in the world and certainly one of the best in France and that was Jean-Louis Chave in the Northern Rhone Valley. They do a lot of work with Syrah and other Rhone grapes there and that's one of the secrets to the high high quality of this little red blend. When you taste it, it's voluptuous, it's big and mouth coating and it also has a wonderful freshness and elegance. You'll smell a little bit of the, the stamp the scent of Australia. That's a touch of eucalyptus, this lovely lifted herbal note, but it's rich and gorgeous and full-bodied and warming. You want to have some really good food with this wine, a nice steak, lamb would be great as well, but it's also so complete, you can just enjoy a glass on its own. Powell and Son, Dave and Callum came to New District a couple of weeks ago and I tasted all of the wines with them. They're absolutely sensational. Hope you love this wine, the Riverside GMS. One of the benefits of being a member of the wine club is the fact that you can bundle other products with your wine club order. If you need some beer, some spirits, St. Patrick's Day is coming, maybe some Irish whiskey is on your list, or any of these wines that you'd like to buy in multiple bottles, we can deliver that at no charge along with your wine club order. Thanks for tasting along with me for the mix collection for March. Look forward to joining you in April. We're going to have a couple more whites. The weather is warming up and I'll see you then. Cheers to the wine club and cheers to you.